Hello, this is Rachel, and so I was at the Round Round Grove Cemetery, and basically what happened was that the bush, I don't know if I even caught it on camera, but the bushes all of a sudden in this certain area were very, very, very loud, and then um, there was a black figure, like, shaped like a human silhouette of a man. And, um, it looked like he had some kind of, um, shirt on, but I could only see it in black and translucent black. And this figure came, um, up to my passenger door when I was trying to clean my files because my phone kept acting up out there. I was having all kinds of problems. And then, um, so my brain, I'm a little scared. So anyway the bushes were making a lot of noise and you know they hadn't been making any noise at all the whole other time I was there so then what happened was I got in my car and I was messing with my phone because my phone kept going in and out out there when I was taking the videos so and taking some pictures so I don't know if I got it all but anyway um there was a black figure that came up. To, so I was in the driver's seat. To, and I just put up the windows. There was a black figure that walked up to my passenger door. Now they didn't go, you know, they didn't mess with the um, door handle. What they did was they um, put their arm, they were walking up to the car. And then they put their arm in a way that looked like they would open the door. Because they were kind of to the side. But then they walked like and was looking in the window kind of from where they were standing. Because I could see the black silhouette. So the way it was moving was exaggerated enough to get the point across. Um, and that, Which means that the, the ghost is really, really smart. Or the shadow being is really, really smart. So he looked like he was going to open the door. And at first I was like... Did I really just see that? I was like, okay, I'm just going to mess with my phone again. Like I usually do. I would try to blow it off. And I see things all the time. And I know better because I can see stuff um, like on videos from studying um, sim sim symbol symbolism from videos and stuff from conspiracies and all kinds of stuff. And there was somebody who... You know, it was a skeptic who showed me a video. Um, and I showed them a split. It was like a split second. It was very hard to catch. That there was somebody standing behind them. A few feet taller than them. Built different. Their shoulders were at a different angle. And it was exactly when he was saying um, that he made a shift. So, but he tried to blow it off on it was just the camera. Which makes no sense. Um. So anyway, I can see things really quick. And this thing was standing there for like a good two seconds. And that's a long time if it's something freaky or weird or something you don't understand. So anyway, it was real. Um, it kind of scared me. I don't know if it liked me, but the feeling I got was scared. I got really scared. Um, there was a lot of pressure on my head. Uh, my whole upper skull like an inch above the ear and then the rest of the skull um, there was a lot of pressure like somebody was putting warm hands against my head um, the sides of my head and the back of my head a warm pressure and it wasn't like my body was responding in a scared way but like mentally and emotionally I got scared but I was really trying to finish what I was doing so basically that adds um, another video to this series so it's going to have to be you know seven videos instead of six because I didn't get to finish my business so anyway because of the bush I should know where I left off but man there was something and he, it was pretty tall and I have been taking in half a mile continue on to southeast street that, that scared me because I forgot I had GPS on but anyway um I had been just taking a whole bunch of pictures of the military graves. Now, I've just been filming them, but I've been taking pictures, so 
I don't know if that's what it was or if that um, a being a ghost did not want me to take a picture or if that it wanted attention. I'm not sure what was going on. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Illinois 53 North, West Parker Street. So far, I felt welcome and I felt like they, you know, I know this sounds crazy, but I felt like they wanted me to come back. So, and I kind of feel like I'm going to miss it there after spending all these hours. Take the next right onto Illinois 53 North, West Parker Street. So, now there's this weird ghost and being, and I don't know if that's who wanted me out there or somebody else. But at the same time, I was taking a lot of photos of infants' graves. Now, I've taken a lot of video of it. But I was actually Continue going on Illinois 53 North for seven miles. Out of my way to take the videos. And remember how much I spent on the two twins um, that died, let's see, um, six days apart from each other. And it was a huge monument. Well, I had done that not too long before this being came around. So I don't know if it's a protective thing. I don't know. But it was real and I ended up going down to the cemetery driveway to the entrance and went down to the cemetery entrance and I was going to stay and I was going to turn around and then I thought why well, I still feel this way I still feel freaked out you know I'm going to have to come back so I did want to stay I kept trying to rationalize it and sometimes it's dangerous when you try to rationalize something against the spirit and when you feel like you need to go um, that's your intuition probably saying get out of there so I will have to go back at a different time thank you So this is Rachel and I'm at Round Grove Cemetery in Reddick. So anyway, um, I've spent a lot of time here and I got a lot more time to spend here. But it's out in the country where there's a lot of cornfields. And um, there's like some building over there where sometimes there's a lot of um, work utility vehicles um, parked. But for the most part... People are doing what they got to do, and they're driving pretty fast, so I don't think anyone's going to really bother me. I always park the car up to the area I'm in, so if I need to get in the car right away, I can. So I'm constantly moving the car. And, um, you know, don't drink, like, start guggling stuff if you're going out. I would only take sips to wet your throat unless you need a drink. Because you don't want to come out here and feel like you got to use the restroom. I haven't had that problem. I'm just saying. It's something I noticed is that I'm drinking a little bit at a time. So, and anyway, um, out here, I forgot to at the other cemeteries. But out here, I fix stuff that's not in place. Um, but anyway, I have two more visits to do. And so I'm just going to wrap up the video part right now. And the other two will be documenting um, photo by photo who's here, who's staying here. Um, because this is a historical graveyard. And also um, it's hundreds of years old. So there's also Freemasons staying here. And there's also some OCE women who are staying here as well. They have an upside down cross they call the Northern Cross. So anyway, um, it's nice today. The last time I was here, it was raining. It's hard to go and get good pictures after it rained because there's a lot of water hanging out in the indentation of the you know, engraved um, names and stuff. 
So that's why my last video, it looked like there were sections of dark gray. It was actually water. So anyway, just be respectful when you go out. Do not go out to mess things up. That's not okay, and you wouldn't want someone to do that to you or your family. And even if you're per a nihilist and you don't care about anything, you know, um, to most people, you know, that's really messed up. And to most people, they would get mad if it was on your grave. So anyway, even if it doesn't bother you, it bothers people in general. So um, just watch the rest of the video, comment if you would like. Thank you. Before I go out there, so I can hear the vehicles coming either direction. So if I see them, I go to look as if I'm looking at someone's gravestone as if I'm there. I stop walking around and being all obvious. So that's something you want to be aware of. I'm pretty sure I got these last time. another person that hasn't died but they got flowers for themselves.
they're still alive, so they have two big stones. Nelson has another open plot. So his wife's alive. She's still alive. He's still alive. See the water is still on there like I was saying earlier. It looks like it's dark gray and he was from World War II, and he has some kind of star. Born Died the day they were born. Died the day that they were born. Died the day they were born. a book on it and they're still alive so they might be a minister or a priest if I miss any of these um, gravestones I will be back to take a picture of every single one so I will document it properly. Right now, um, I'm getting some kind of feelings. So, I'm gonna, the bush over there is making a lot of noise. Um, I did get windy. Those two are together. It's three.
These are moldy. This is another person that has not died, um, or one person's on here, I'm sorry, not two. the ones behind here these two um there's that somebody's alive for those two empty plots there's a real coping says 
37 years old, two months in. I don't know how many days. They're still alive. Henry Palmer, um, something. Nobody's on that yet, that Palmer one. Born in the bush. They're very religious or something. That would be that one too. That has a dove. They're still alive.
This just says mother. This person died um, at two years old. Children of Eminem Alder. So the two little angels now on high, they hand in hand. Together roam. Two links now binds us to the skies. Two fingers um, begin us. There's some misspellings, but died 16th. Died December 22nd, 1903. So these were twins. One died on the 16th and one died on the 22nd. This person has not died. So those three are together. World War II, 